Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hello again folks, I got a yard sale yesterday and picked up this SWR power meter for like 5 bucks and only to discover last night when I took it on a uh, field event for 10 meters that this meter is totally dead. <laughs> the meter on the right hand side as you can see, the needle is actually stuck halfway. It leads me to believe that the meter or the needle coil that runs this meter is probably open and the meter on the left I'm not quite sure they're still not doing anything so we're going to take this meter apart and see if we can fix it alright well I have the meter taken apart right now as you can see this needle is actually stuck midway on, your, on the meter it's all KTO International models SWR25 I'm not sure how old this thing is but this is the guts of the SWR meter. This thing here is our sampling circuit. So sample RF power from here. There's a couple of diodes and whatnot here. Uh, this color here is for field strength, which can also be displayed on the meter on the lower on the lower bars. Let me see it on the lower line on your meter. It will give you relative field strength. So not much to it, but uh, let's see if we can get this thing uh, working. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here's the SWR meter again. Uh, it was actually taken out of the uh, assembly, and as you can see, it's disconnected, and this wire is all the way to set. <laughs> um, I've used my probe of disconnected from the circuit altogether, capacitor, and everything. <coughs> Uh, what I think has actually happened here is the SWR meter. Uh, <coughs> I think somebody's actually sent too much RF energy through this meter and it's <laughs> pretty much destroyed it. Uh, the reason the meter seems not to be functioning properly is uh, the spring that sets this needle back. The spring itself, I think, could be uh, damaged. Uh, if that's the case, the needle movement itself will have to be replaced. Uh, I've checked the, the coil, the coil inside the meter here. Checked that with the meter, and it seems to be fine. Uh, I'm going to be checking my probes here. Put one probe here, another probe here. The needle will actually move. But as you can see, the needle ain't being set back to one. Uh, the spring inside the needle movement itself is what would set it back to uh, would reset it back to one. So if I re reverse my leads, like so, and touch them again, the needle will actually go completely the other direction. Let's see. So, <coughs> looks like I'm going to have to take this needle movement apart here, take the whole meter apart, and see if it's actually a coil or a spring. I'm, I'm willing to bet that the spring which sets this needle uh, is probably <laughs> not there. It's probably busted. So, we'll take a look and see what happens. Alright. Uh, I took a look at the meter instead of actually removing the, the movement from the meter I've uh, readjusted the settings on the back of the meter Use this little screw here and there's a slider here between two of these to in the interact with the meter to make it move freely and to set it now uh, the, the coil itself 
is actually fine, so the meter has survived. <laughs> it just seems like it was misadjusted. Um, needle's actually is moving back and forth now like it should be. I did put the probe from the test meter. Now it's functioning, as you can see. So, there you go. Now you just put this thing back together, put this in this case, and then remount it back into the unit. And then we'll uh, take out the other meter and see if it's doing the same thing. Alright, before I uh, set it up, I'm going to test the field strength meter. I got a Comfort 2000 GTL, and uh, the antenna is precisely about 50-60 feet away from my radio outside. So, let's just try keying up. I got a little alligator lead put on here and use that for the antenna. Let's see how well she picks up. There you go. The field strength meter is uh, working, so that's a good sign. I mean, the diodes are functioning normally. There you have it. So far, so good. Okay, <clears throat> here we are again now. We're on the uh, power meter, and again, the meter is stuck at center position. And if I apply power to the coil, the movement is moving so that leaves me to believe the coil is fine the spring is fine so we're probably into the same uh, problem as what the SWR meter and that is the needle has to be readjusted to more move more freely so let's have a look okay I readjusted the uh, needle again and again the same thing as the SWR meter the needle was a bit tight over the years I guess from other not being used or used improperly or banged around or whatever. But now the needle is working normally. And then I've reset it back to uh, to uh, one or zero on the end of the scale all the way to the left. And it seems to be fine. So we're gonna hook up the wires now for the meter and we're gonna put it into operation and see if it's uh, working fine. Alright, got the uh, meter hooked up now to the Cobra. So, um, this is uh, what I got the rest of our set power set power meter might need to be adjusted a bit. I think she's showing a little more than what she should be showing. But, the rest of our two, and according to this power meter, she's run about six or seven months, <laughs> which is not uh, right. Anyway, that's it. And the meter's working. I'm going to readjust the power meter and way to go.